We've all imagined it. If you could build your dream house, what would that look like? A space that inspires you, calms you, and ultimately helps you live your best life? We've asked today's hottest designers to make this their mission. We want to create an area of serenity. Each design team will take a room from studs to the finishing touches. And we want to create a space that's unique, inviting, and a ton of fun. Showing you how to make every corner of your space work harder, better, and more beautifully than you ever thought it could. Make a statement. I'm Carisha Swanson from House Beautiful, and we are building the dream in Nashville. First up is Vern Yip. Vern became a household name after appearing in TLC's Trading Spaces. We show you this color. Before going on to host HGTV Star and Deserving Design, he's evolved a fan following for the way he designs globally inspired, sophisticated rooms that don't feel stuffy. Vern's taking on the foyer and living room, so he's got to make a great impression and create a living room that's beautiful, but also relaxed enough that you want to kick back and spend time in. With a lot of new construction homes, you don't necessarily get the character, you don't necessarily get the detail, and it's pretty evident from actually being in the space that they put a lot of thoughtfulness into the space. I'm really excited, and this is where things get really juicy. It's where you really have the opportunity, now that we have a blank slate, to infuse it with that character and really take it to the next level. He flew in from Atlanta to Nashville to get a sense for the space and start mapping out his game plan for the two areas. I'm looking forward to kind of highlighting this area, just really seamlessly transitioning you into this living space, which is big, it's big and grand. Fireplace, of course, always an opportunity to create a focal point. I love how, again, it's really open living. It's, it's how people live today. People really don't want little boxed-in rooms. They want lots of natural light. They want to be able to kind of seamlessly flow from one space to the next. It's going to be really, really beautiful when we're done with it, hopefully. We are heading over to Vern's house in Atlanta to meet Clay Aronson, owner and chief designer of Aronson Woodshop based in Iowa, and to discuss the floor plan for the foyer and the living room. This is the foyer. This is the main entrance into the house. And here's our big circular staircase over here. Yes. There's not a lot of room for furniture. One of the things that I love though is having a proper table in the entryway where you can actually beautifully display something that's visually pleasing, but also something that's functional so that you have a place to prop things down sure. upon entrance. I have this idea of limiting the number of pieces but making them slightly bigger and it starts with this wow this that is, big sectional that's really big that's really so about big. how long are we talking this is 15 feet long <gasps> yeah it's anchored by two chaise lounges and i'm proposing that we cover this in the new indoor outdoor fabric that i'm launching people don't have to worry then about spilling red wine right. chocolate mascara whatever it's a graphic pattern and it's essentially like this spine that will be running down each one of these pieces in the charcoal color and then in between will be this sort of soft kind of off-white neutral. In this space, what we're seeing here is coffee table really sort of broken up into two coffee tables. And the reason why I broke them up is that I didn't want somebody in the middle kind of stuck. stuck. So Clay, in this space, what we're seeing here is a really long um, console in the back. You, you need to have something that covers enough of the territory that it's useful, but you don't want it to be an impediment for I people to get idea. in and out. I've never thought of that. Underneath here is the Ooh. custom rug that I'm going to have made for the living room. So this living room rug is going to be 13 feet 6 inches wide by 19 feet long. So small. <laughs> so just like a little bath mat because a properly sized rug should be somewhere around 12 to 18 inches from all of its limiting factors. That's usually the wall but in this case we have a fireplace bump out and mm -hmm. a hearth. So when a rug is too small in a space, it makes the room feel smaller. Yeah. So, so this is in a, a really beautiful antelope pattern that's been colored in a lot of warm grays. So again, it's going to be pattern on the floor, pattern on the sectional, pattern on the walls, but it's all kind of really beautiful right. and textural and subtle. Exactly. And one of the things that I love are elements that are both durable and aesthetically pleasing. One of the reasons why Clay is here is he makes the most beautiful but durable furniture on planet Earth with a patented finish uh, that he's developed that is like a ceruced look, but super durable. So it's scratch resistant and all kinds of goodies. Wow, you've got a so, ton yeah. of different options here. And he can customize finishes too. I was thinking the table could potentially go really dark, like maybe this dark with the grain popping in the white. 
What was Fern saying about your finish? It's actually a 12 step process, but it's a real smooth finish. And then our top coat's extremely durable. Don't have to worry about coasters. Really? Don't have to worry about coasters at all? And my wife actually scrubs ours at home with a, a blue Oh wow, so this pad. is really, this can handle anything. I think, I think it could be cool. Be great. So wait, are you excited? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Like, like, we could just stick with what we've been doing. <laughs> right, no, like. I can see I, the wheel I, turning I, and he's like, <laughs> how much time do I have? Yeah. Yeah. When does this have to be done? Here we are at ADAC, the Atlanta Decorative Arts Center, where Vern has a line of fabrics and wallpapers in the Fabric Hut showroom. So we're in the Fabrica showroom. Yeah. This is where my fabrics are, my trims, my wall covering. And I was really thinking about the foyer okay. and the fact that you have so much like blank wall space, right? right? Yes. Foyers are interesting because you want people to feel welcome. You want yes. them to come in and be like, oh, I'm relaxed, I'm energized, yeah. but I'm also inspired. So since there isn't a lot of furniture, I wanted to like really put something on the walls. Now this is fabric in my wall covering line. I think like the dragon pattern, the tints of gold, citrine, mustard. I think they really like pop in the space. It takes you someplace, right? Like yeah. you're gonna walk in and you're, it's so it's unexpected. Transported. You're completely transported to another place. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It'll be a dramatic entry. I love that because yeah. I could lie to you and say there was a plan B, C, and D, but this was really the plan, <laughs> Carisha. <laughs> This is the wall covering that Ooh. I'm thinking of for the living room. That's beautiful. It's, and it's got such great texture to it. Which I think is important. The two spaces do really kind of bleed into each other. Right, right. But instead of like making it so matchy-matchy, yeah. just kind of picking things that work together and complement each other. Well, and I love this because this palette too really does give you a lot of room to play and do whatever you want to do color-wise. Absolutely. So like all of my wall covering, for example, is made with what they call sure strip technology, which means it goes up in one piece, it comes down in one piece, it doesn't do any damage to your wall, oh, it's wow. very forgiving. <laughs> no fake in it, what do you think of this chair? Open, like it doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. You know, and granted this is a space that's large enough that it can deal with heavy furniture, but I think that's not the way people are living these days. Yeah. You know, they kind of want that lighty, airy element. I was thinking because, you know, we've got this in the foyer, right. we've got this like beautiful shagreen texture in the living room. I was thinking about doing it in something like, so kind of fun and bright. It's just so rich. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is kind of where my head is at right now. Black, white, citrine, forest green, a little chartreuse. I can imagine people at home looking at this and being like, what? <laughs> And so I can't wait for them to see the finished product of how this all comes together. Oh, yeah. 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 Trust me, <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be epic. Perfect. Vern's team immediately got to work wallpapering both rooms. For Vern, the art is as important as the furnishings in setting the mood. She has this amazing app where we can stick these pieces into the space and I've given her photographs oh, wow, of the room. So you'll be able to see kind of like the naked room right now with the sheetrock just up yeah. and the art and the pieces in place. That's amazing. Yeah. So. And we can move things around. I was thinking about this over the fireplace. Um, this is Angela West. So when I saw this, I thought this is really, for me, what that space needed. I love this artist, Rude Van Empel. I mean, it's one of the, the finest examples of collaging. And I was thinking about this, either like flanking the left side of that opening, looking towards the foyer, or perhaps maybe being in the niche. I don't want to have too many floral things on one right. wall. But this is an artist that I wasn't aware of until Anna introduced him to me. His name is uh, Bastian Wooten. This is the cool part of this app. You can put him here and then you can move him oh over so that he can yeah. have like a This is so great. much easier than he, um, stuff on your wall with a million holes and figuring it out. Right. Yes. <laughs> no, so no, much easier. We, we will <laughs> install your whole house. I will go into your house and secretly take I pictures mean, when you're not looking. Do you and then I will how many holes are hiding behind my walls? <laughs> Everything's coming in. Curtains went up, rug went down. Does that round table go here? Round table goes right in there. Oh, nice. It's always better if you can get the stuff in in layers because obviously it's chaotic here. It's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle so you can complete the picture. But it's all coming together. I had lots of help while I was here. Uh, the biggest help is always my husband. You can rely on the husband. He can't escape like everybody else. It's a nice balance for the room. You really know what you're doing. 
<laughs> you know, not my first rodeo. <laughs> Perfect. Off the rug? Yeah, it's off the rug. Centered in that space. <laughs> Moment of truth, I haven't seen this piece in person. It was made just for the show house by uh, Clay Aronson of Aronson Woodworks. Oh, and it is a beast, but it looks awesome. I feel like this is like maybe three inches too short. It used to be like three inches just a little bit longer, right? Right, Clay? No, this is perfect. The upholstery is here. I'm really excited about these chairs because oftentimes people play it really safe with the upholstery, and I get that. But I want it to go a little bolder. And I think, you know, it really helps kind of make a statement. This is in a, a really beautiful sort of vintage velvet look, so it has a little bit of shine too, which I think is really key. Wow, I love it. it. Looks really good. I think open floor plans are nice for how we live today. Uh, so that goes facing that way. I can say that they make it really tricky to kind of place furniture. I mean, when you're thinking about things like outlets and where things plug in, I mean, it takes a little more forethought and planning. Make a statement. Well, I always love to layer patterns. I think. Pattern layering is such a great way to personalize a space and make it yours. You know, but the trick is always to like have some threads of continuity. So color is one way to have that thread of continuity, but you always want to also make sure that there's a balance in terms of scale of pattern. You have to mix the extra small pattern with the small, with the medium, with the large and the extra large. Otherwise it, it doesn't go. But when you get the right pattern mix going, it really kind of gives room energy because you have too many solids and the room kind of just like falls flat. So now it's like the, the delicate balance. We've got all the major things in. Now it's how do we like finesse it to just make it exactly perfect. You know, the install went fairly smoothly. Uh, you, you never know with a project like this because so many people are installing at the same time. Uh, it's, it's a delicate dance and oftentimes a very complicated puzzle, but everything went smoothly, thank goodness. I'm super excited to see this. I'm excited for you to see it. This is the first room when you enter this house. Yeah, well, you know, this is your first impression of the house. Yes. And first impressions are key. Key. Yes, <laughs> yeah. First of all, are you kidding me? <laughs> I know, right? So I really felt it was so important with this dramatic architecture and this incredible staircase to have wallpaper in here. Yeah. It's the opportunity to add a pattern, to add color, to add texture, and I think it really complements, you know, how this staircase just kind of swoops. It's just really a beautiful well, foyer. You know I begged you for color. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I was like, you know, how do you do color in a space that kind of sets the mood for a house without it being overwhelming? Yeah. So people think color and they think bright, and you've gone a different direction. It's not about brightness. I think it's important to have a place to sit. I think it's important to have something that kind of communicates the message of the home. Right. I, I wanted it to be welcoming. So we have this incredible, beautiful round table. Yes. I wanted things here to feel elevated, but not precious so that you couldn't mm -hmm. touch things. We have these two little stools so somebody can so actually cute. sit. And they add like a nice punch of color. The artwork though, to me, is kind of like the focal point yes. here. Yes, love how you display the art because so often when we ha see curved walls or any sort of awkwardly shaped wall, people don't know what to do with them. And so you still manage to display art by just using an easel with a picture light. You know, you have an opportunity here to really kind of have the lighting be dramatic, but you don't want it to be overpowering. Beautiful. Okay, so this is clearly not your only room in the house. No! But this sets the stage, as you said. <laughs> we transition? Yeah, okay, let's go great. take a look. I want you to come into this living space and tell me what you think. Um, what I think is I'm ready to lay down and stretch <laughs> out on this. <laughs> Good. I love your infusion of this kind of mustardy yellow. Yeah. It just really heightens the space, but you still feel so comfortable in here. You'll notice the seating plan. It's a huge sectional. This is massive, it's yes. It's massive. <laughs> Though and the way I stretch out, I might take up half of it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. But you know, we wanted to have not only this big section, right. we wanted to have lounge chairs, we wanted this, to have a bench in yes. front of the fireplace. So the idea really is that this is kind of the heart of the home. It's right. a gathering spot. 
The sectional is by far my favorite piece in the room. I love this piece. Is there a play, because I also am in love with the wallpaper here too. This kind of subtlety really works well together. And then it seems like a play off of that with your fabric. Am I crazy? No. <laughs> well, so first off, I love mixing patterns. Yeah. I think pattern adds both physical and visual texture. And when you have a home that has texture, people automatically relax a little more. Right. So the chagrin wallpaper is really nice because it can be wiped, it can be cleaned, it yes. doesn't have to be precious. It's actually vinyl, which is really nice. That's so great. It's important to have something, especially with the technology that we have today, that's beautiful, yes. but also really, really livable. And so again, we've brought in these really beautiful tables and the, the console that have that finish that will absolutely be durable. You don't have to use coasters. You don't this. have to worry about putting your feet up on it. Right. Yeah, you want people to think it's gorgeous and it's beautiful, but also really livable. Yes. And again, we're continuing this story with the art. It's amazing to see it in its place here. Even the floor, which again, another pattern. Right. Yeah, this is more of like a deer or an antelope pattern. This is a product, again, that you don't have to worry about. It's antimicrobial, it's stain resistant, soil resistant. You don't have to give up beauty just because you want practicality. So this room is practically indestructible. Practically indestructible, yeah. but you don't, it doesn't look it. It doesn't look it. It's yeah. still so elegant and so refined, but you can relax in this space. Yeah, and that's the point. We don't want a living room that's a museum. Right. This is a room for living. Okay, so can I go lounge? Go, lounge, <laughs> put your feet up, okay, take I'm a nap. Doing all of the above. <laughs> do it. I think you need to do the same after working on this project. I mean, that's the beauty of a sectional this big. There is room for both of us and friends. I say it's time. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Roy. Yeah, you're welcome. My intent with both the foyer and the living room, and they are just so interconnected, was to kind of welcome somebody into this home. You know, whenever you're partnering with a designer, especially one at the level of Vern, you never really know what they're gonna do. All I did was ask him for color, and the way he's infused kind of these subtle mustards and greens is so beautiful. It's meant to say you're someplace that you know you can relax and be taken care of. And I feel like we really got there. I'm thrilled with how it all turned out. Everything is made for a busy family, and Vern has seamlessly done that in a way that could not be more elegant. Truly, this is the ultimate in just living comfortably in your own home. I'm gonna take a note from this, and I'm gonna take a moment to relax. Ciao.